There's a new sheriff in town at the Seminole Soccer Complex, as by now you probably know that Brian Pinsky was selected as the successor to Mark Gregorian at Florida State Soccer, giving the Tennessee head coach the keys to arguably one of the most successful programs in the history of the sport. But what exactly will it look like when Pinsky's squad hits the pitch in the fall, and what's going to look different than what's looked the same over the last 17 years? Well, let's take a look at the numbers and find out. First things first, you can expect to keep seeing the Knolls win a lot. Pinsky's volunteers not much different win loss wise than the reigning national champion with just one more loss and one less draw. And while sure the ACC is better than the SEC, it's not by much. The Southeastern Conference a pretty good league. But where you can expect a decent uptick between the two is how many balls the Seminoles are now going to be willing to throw at the net. The Vols averaged just under nine shots on goal last season. That's good for 14th in the nation, while of course Florida State's more patient approach, 7.36 shots on goals a game, put them at 51st. While the offensive philosophies appear to be different, the results are pretty identical. The two averaging 2.61 and 2.64 goals a game last year. That's good for 10th and 11th place respectively, but one place Krikorian Seminoles did outpace Big Orange last year was definitely on the defensive side, allowing an average of a half a goal a game. That's the third best in the country was FSU. UT still averaging less than a goal allowed a game, but at 28th in the country. The question, of course, now becomes, does Florida State's resources, support, and tradition match with Penske's level of success, propel the Knowles to keep being among the nation's elite, or simply just still make them good? Regardless, it's going to be fun to find out.